Okay, welcome into part two. You guys, if you haven't already, go check out part uh, 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 one of this reading. E9. <laughs> wow. So Ra and Inanna, they're like one, okay? Ra and Inanna, they're like one, okay? The reason you can't, you, 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 this is weird. It's weird. Spirit, do you want me to really go there? Spirit is like, I almost just really start going off, like really not going off, but just really speaking some. <sighs> they the same person. Ra and Inanna are the same person. The lovers, the star, okay? Venus energy, they're the same. All of that is the same. That's the same damn energy, okay? Now, maybe they just from the same, I don't know, but they all the same person, okay? So that's going to be Aphrodite. That's going to be Ra, and that's going to be Inanna, okay? So um, Aphrodite, that puts you into the sisterhood, okay? So you got sisters as Aphrodite energy, all right? As Ra, you have children. As Inanna, you have children. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hearing the gatekeeper. Okay. So you are the gatekeeper. So damn, the fucked up part is your twin was supposed to be the gatekeeper too. But instead of being the gatekeeper of his domain, he became, oh, he became his domain. So basically, you know how they say you're supposed to be in this world, but not of it. He forgot that he was not of this world and it consumed him. That's what I'm being told right now. So that being said, that's why you have the powers of your divine masculine, okay? The other energy is that, um, no, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Judgment. Five of cups. Three of cups. So the people that, that, that were partying it up, they was collaborating, okay? Um, third party situations, ganging up, um, um, linking up, okay? Um, the the family the family energy oh that's what i'm supposed to be telling y'all the family energy that i spoke about in the reading where i was like y'all there's a whole family that's about to go down 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 let me explain what i mean because source revealed it to me in a way where i could put it in layman's terms and our terms so we could very really understand so without without it sounding harsh or sounding like what a whole family let me explain these this family members they're not related okay they're not related by blood. Let me explain to you. Y'all ever seen that show called Pose? Okay. Um, Pose, they had what was called a house mother. Okay. Uh, remember mother? Okay. So they had a house uh, where they did live and they did congregate. Okay. And it was like, it was for those who, you know, didn't have anywhere to go or didn't fit in. They were misfits or not necessarily misfits. They were actually outcasted because they were, um, 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 homosexual. Okay. They were gay. And so basically, uh, the, the energy though, that I'm pulling off of that show at this moment is the fact of the house. So I'm hearing the house of Electra. Okay. Remember how they had the houses and, um, like, you know, everybody had responsibilities. They had chores in the house. House, okay and they referred to the mother as the mother right um but the thing was she wasn't their actual mother she didn't birth them okay but she raised them up um in the in the scene or on the scene okay um um she you know she had rules they they both did there were two mothers or three mothers there were a bunch of mothers i know at least two okay um and they had rules you know house rules and they had house chores and um you know, then they would go and they would compete in competition and do this and that and the other, present their costumes, their outfits, they walk, you know what I'm saying? Um, their fashion. And so basically that's this vibe is like, there's a house. So say you have a house. Okay. And you're a house mother. Well, there's another house with a house mother. Well, that house and house mother, they're going down or at least no, they, they're going down. I was going to say at least the mother and source was like, no, the whole, they going down. Okay. Um, so Knight of wands, um, this is occurring. This judgment is happening because they tried to rule someone else's house. Okay. They tried to rule someone else's domain. I'm hearing that quote off of welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. This ain't no, uh, uh, kennel and that lab rat got to go. Okay. So I feel like Roz, like somebody has to go queen of swords. There it is. So they're being removed. Okay. Someone's been given their walking papers. All right. Um, because they, they, they mishandled you. They mishandled 
the energy okay they mishandled um their power and in turn they mishandled their reputation so with the eight of wands coming out this person aquarius libra gemini or someone with that in their chart okay they're going to be receiving some sort of communication okay at this time someone's going off into like they going into the fire that means they're going to see Sekhmet. They got to go see the wounded healer. But that's you. So it's like, um, okay. Yeah, the star. Okay. For, uh, for some. For some, you're going to be coming into your body. Okay. Because maybe you haven't been in your body. I know that sounds strange. I know that sounds strange, but there's been a lot going on. Like for those of you that, that understand the spiritual realm, as far as what goes on, if you have the gift of sight to be able to see beyond the veil, y'all, it's a lot that be going on in the spiritual realm. There's been a lot of magic thrown. There's been a lot of witchery, a lot of playing, a lot of things like that. And so um, spells, hexes, voodoo, curses, okay, spying, that energy is null and void, okay? Um, it's like God is saying, basically, you're not going to be able to abuse your power anymore you're not going to be able to abuse your gifts anymore um the dark magic we are raising our vibration we coming up out of that energy so it's like what's going to in turn happen if we are say there's levels okay say an elevator imagine imagine an elevator okay and there's like five floors okay and so on the first floor you know nobody goes down there okay <laughs> and then on the on the second floor it's like um People that are, you know, still asleep, kind of roam around down there, okay? And then we got the third floor where people um, are beginning to wake up, okay? They feel more refreshed. There's more positive energy flowing, okay? But there's still a stench, a stench of darkness, okay? And so it's like, basically, we don't want that stench of darkness in the energy, okay, anymore. There's going to be a line drawn. There's going to be separation, okay? So basically, that separation is going to raise us to the fourth floor or the fifth floor or whatever, and we're going to reside there but it's like on that floor that we reside on chosen it's like the darkness the ones that um want to still play in magic they can't they can't they don't have access to this this floor okay they can't get on this floor all right and so because they can't get on this floor what they're going to do is they're going to begin to play more harder in the other floors on the other floors in order to try to try to manifest a way to get to the floor that we're on okay now there's going to be some that are going to do this because they're going to do the work they're going to really go in and manifest a new beginning a change for themselves and then there's the ones that are going to i'm going to say like they'll they'll be on that floor right underneath us like the ones that are trying to really get it out the mud really trying to get through um this this journey of life they really do want to change they're going to be right underneath us but the ones below that okay so like second first floor energy all right um they are going to pass away they're going to pass away or perish sources saying perish because what's going to happen is they're going to end up killing each other okay so they're going to end up destroying themselves because they're going to be doing so much um low vibrational activity that it's going to only be able to reach other low vibrational entities and so they're going to wipe themselves out i'm hearing that this is the feast of the angels this has always been this has always been how it's done what's behind here because they're drawing me to it yep so behind inana there's divine messages mess mess messages and then there's tell the truth and then there's patience so this is temperance and then look at aphrodite <laughs> okay so i feel like aphrodite because this is they're giving me something here these energies ran parallel in a lifetime okay they're the same energy they're the same entity okay um and just and I'm going to say not the same lifetime, but they run parallel, but different lifetimes. Their stories are the exact same. Okay. Same thing with Quidesh. Okay. Same thing with Isis, because these are all the, all of these right here. They're telling me right now, even Kali Mai. Okay. Even Persephone. All right. They're telling me that all of these women, they all possess the same timeline. So it's like the same stories, the same uh, light codes, the same everything. It's all the same. Okay. They're a reflection of one another. They're all this emanation. They're an emanation of each other. 
All right, so all of these are the same person. Hello, Moto. Okay, um, so that's confirmation as well. But basically, yeah, this is, yeah, believe in what, what I'm saying, okay? Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I my past life has been, is, okay, my soul and spirit is Inanna, okay? Um, as the feminine energy, okay, which is my, it's going to be my rising and that's going to be my north node, okay? And my um, mm -hmm, masculinity is going to be my sun sign, confirmation, my sun sign, okay? And my moon, okay? That's my masculine energy, all right? So it's something about that within yourself that you're going to be connecting with. You're going to be noticing the difference, and you're going to be like asked to speak from that space. Like you're going to have to decide what space you're, you're, what, what side of the tracks are you on? <laughs> Somebody, somebody's going to be having to, they're going to be having to look at that. What side of the tracks are you on? Okay. Are you on the good side or are you, are you on the bad side? What side are you on? Because there's going to be a line drawn. Okay. Judgment, five of cups, three of cups, knight of wands, queen of swords, eight of wands. For somebody else, um, someone's going to be finding out. No, this is it. This is the whole. This is it. Uh, this is it, y'all. And I don't know if I'm going to make this a weekend reading. I think this may just be. This may just be. Oh. Uh... I did a oh oh girl hell yes but i think this may be a oh boy hell no <laughs> like oh boy hell no uh no yeah i think this was is gonna be mm -hmm. and if you haven't watched the oh girl hell yes go watch that but i feel like this is the okay we got gemini energy so this is both perspectives confirmation with the horn okay this is both perspectives this is you and the reflection and so basically, I think that's all that I really have. Like, I, ooh, I don't know really what else to say on that. Like, give me anything else you want me to say, Spirit. Um, you're very sophisticated in handle, how you're handling your business, how you are handling um, your ops, how you're handling opposition. Okay? So, um, sure footedness okay it's the confidence confidence is key to success continue to remain confident okay continue to know that you have the spiritual backing of the divine all right the support of your ancestors are rallying around you okay i am committed i am delight and i am fearless taking healthy risk Happy Friday. There it is. Okay. So I probably will post this today instead. And I am focused. Okay. Um, so there's some more changes that are coming through. You're about to receive some sort of an offer or an invitation. There's also the energy of initiation. Okay. You could be being initiated at this time. So look out for signs about that or what, what it is they may request or require that you do. Okay. You're going to know it when it happens. So don't be like, oh, I got to like, no, just let it happen. Okay. Um, your song, I am beautiful. Wow. <laughs> and then I start singing, you're beautiful. You're beautiful to me. At the beginning of the reading on part one. And then we have your song is you're beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful by DJ Khalid. Okay. Featuring scissor and future. All right. Um, enlightenment is coming through. And then we have finding self with loot. Oh, it says I'm here. So this uh, enlightenment is here. Okay. I feel like you've taken some particular steps to find yourself and it's led to your happiness. And now she ready. Okay. So the buzz is um, that, that uh, you're ready. Okay. You're ready. I caramba. Okay. I feel like uh, get ready. Okay. Something may catch you off guard, catch you by surprise. I feel like also this, oh, there's definitely judgment because the judgment bell came out. Okay. It's like someone's calling time. They're hitting the buzzer, but they're calling time and hitting the buzzer because it's time for you to be happy. And that's what they're declaring. I'm seeing a gavel drop. Okay. I'm seeing a gavel drop. Give me that energy. I just did a reading and that, that energy was in there. Oh, which one is it? Something about the court proceeding, the court proceeding that you, you end up not having to attend or something like that, okay? There's something where like you, 
Oh, what reading? You guys, if you're in here and you already saw it, judgment. Definitely judgment in the air. Okay. So we got, wow, 1111. Okay. God's love at work in the world. Okay. So this is the rose spiritual meaning. All right. And then we have the color orange, orange spiritual effects. Um, it says the orange spiritual meaning is creativity, emotional balance, and sexuality, harmony, passion, freedom, intuition, and expression of emotions. So we have this moonflower energy. So time of moonflower. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. Something significant about Saturday uh, could occur. Keep your light. Okay, I feel like protect your energy on Saturday. And the flower, let me see a little closer here what I see in this as you're jumping out at me. It embodies a spirit that re re uh, revels in growth, expression, and creativity this full moon is an energetic one. Okay, so it's this new moon that's coming. Even though this says full moon, there's a new moon here in the picture. So I'm drawn to that. And we're about to have a new moon on the 25th. This is going to um, bring you a lot of energy. Okay, what's at the bottom of the day? Archangel Metatron. Okay, I feel like Archangel Metatron's working in your energy at this time. And he's going to be one of the ones that is fostering in this energy for you. Okay, ushering it in. I'm seeing it like be pulled in. Okay, um, someone's going to be pulling in, pulling up. Someone could be pulling up. All right. Um, so we got to be on the lookout about this Vatican shit. Okay, I'm going to have to look more into that. Yeah, I was looking for some more decks to pull, but I guess that's all I got. So, well, we could do this. We could. Let's see what signs come out. What signs are significant in this reading spirit? Show me clearly what zodiac signs. Thank you. Ooh, I feel on the floor. Okay, Scorpio. I feel like that's perfect. Okay, Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. It was in the reverse when I looked at it. Hmm. Something about a Cancer and a Capricorn. Okay, both of them were in the reverse. When this deck fell, Cancer was in the reverse. Now I'm looking at it, Capricorn's in the reverse. So I don't know. That's significant for someone. Okay. What are those houses? fourth house and 10th house okay so the home and career goals and reputation so i feel like the main focus should be your home your career um and your your goals okay building that legacy i feel like that's that's what's up that's where you're going like you're going to be able to do that all right because spirit is calling time you stood your ground Spirit's calling time, and now Spirit's like, all right, now it's time to transform this. I'm hearing now it's time to blow this bitch, okay? <laughs> Take it as it resonates. I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> but y'all, this has been your reading. I feel like I know what reading is going to be. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. What are we looking at on the time? 17.53. Okay, that's 8.8. Eight. Ooh, well, one, it's the time of abundance. Let me find a moon deck. Hold up, y'all. Don't go nowhere. This is gonna be your um this is gonna be your new moon reading. And I'll do another one for your weekend reading because this one was real serious. It was real, real serious. Okay. So let's see what this moon is talking about. We have don't let pride get in your way. A win-win outcome is forecast. So something about a Libra and a Leo, okay. Oh. oh, thank you for that confirmation. So that was some personal confirmation. That was just on the on the split. Yeah, don't let pride get in your way. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Okay. If there's something you need, don't hesitate to ask your angels and spirit guides, okay? Do not. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to bother them. Like, no, that's what they're there for. Okay, reach out, ask them what it is you need. Okay, so it's like, because they want to know so they can, call, they want to bring you something. Okay, thank you, angels and spirit guys. Also, if you're butting heads with someone right now, um, don't, 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 don't give too much energy to it. Okay, because it's just the energy, it's going to pass. Okay, there's something that's, um, that's going to pass. This energy, that, that opposition energy, okay, it's going to pass. All right, for my viewer, thank you. Yeah, look at the bigger picture. 
full moon in Scorpio. I mean, in Sagittarius. Investigate. Oh, my God. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. <laughs> this is funny. Loving who you are. I can't believe they both showed back up like that. <laughs> Spirit is like, yep, that's exactly what it is. So don't worry about it. All right. Yeah, hold your faith in your dreams. That's what I'm saying. They like, don't worry about it. Hold the vision we gave you. Okay, don't worry about that extra shit. Okay, even though we know it bothers you. We know it, it gets on your nerves and all of this and that. But just, just let God deal with it. Adjustments are required. Okay, yeah, God is working something out. Because prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Okay, so a Taurus, a Sagittarius could be significant. A Scorpio. We already saw Leo. Okay. Um, and they want you to step out of your comfort zone. So this is taking me back to, okay, no, we got North Node energy here too. Okay, so this is taking me back, and I'm a North Node Taurus. So Taurus, look at what's about to, mm-hmm, yep, yep, you are good enough. Wow, maybe you've been doubting yourself or you've been wondering, like, can I handle this yes you can because you are good enough emotions are running high okay yeah you could be like oh goodness yeah but communication is key now i was saying confidence is key there's that gemini energy in the relationship you're in okay um something about a pisces okay just meditate i mean meditate meditation is required but um also remember that communication is key so i feel like you're a good communicator Okay, so if there is something going on where um, there's some opposition, I feel like you have the ability to clarify it. You have the ability to clear it up. Um, you have the ability to set the record straight. Okay, and sources like calling you to do that. Okay, yeah, don't let pride get in your way. Okay, your commitment is being tested. That's what I'm saying. Something about a Leo is extremely significant. There's something going on with this person. It isn't you. It's something else they're dealing with. It's something else they're dealing with. Give me a song on this. What is this? What time is it on there? 22.39. I feel like they're trying to get realigned or they're being realigned, readjusted. They're making some adjustments. There's a Leo that's making some adjustments, okay, within themselves, all right? For those of you that don't know, like, yeah, I'm in a, mm -hmm, a union with a Leo, okay? Um, and so that's why that's that's a personal thing for me but i'm not ashamed to say whatever we ain't perfect so stuff be going on shoot but i feel like you're the good communicator you got that gemini energy you have some wisdom so there's something you're going to oh i know what this is about all the stars are closer that's what this is about this person's nervous because of your spiritual background um your spiritual preference okay um but Maybe they're acting really prideful because their way used to work. Whatever they were doing before, it worked for them. They felt safe in that. They knew what that was. They, do you know what I'm saying? And now they're being introduced to something new and they're not quite sure of how to um, adjust. But there's a need for them to step out of their comfort zone, get into their North Node energy. I feel like you're going to show this person how to get out of their South Node. Okay. <laughs> confirmation i feel like it has something to do with um materialistic property or values or wealth uh that could have this person stuck like they gotta be able to free themselves from the physical so you're going to be showing this person how to free themselves from the physical okay yeah nobody does it better yeah see you the <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Nobody does it better than you do. And so you're going to be showing. Now, somebody could have that attitude like nobody does it better than me. I know I got that attitude, but I, I got the, the how they say I got the I got the um 
attitude to match. I have the proof. The proof is in the pudding. So if mine is coming off, then read it as confidence because I'm just a confident person. Uh, but it's not, I don't allow my ego to rule me. I make sure I keep that motherfucker in check. Okay. But um, I feel like someone could, it's fear. Someone, they could, there's some fear. Okay, there's some fear that's coming up in the relationship or in the commitment or in whatever this partnership is because one person has all these attributes and the other person doesn't. That's what I'm hearing. So it's a little bit of like, I don't know, a little, I don't know if it's, I wouldn't call, I don't want to call it jealousy as much as I would say like somebody could just feel inadequate. Okay. Um, because all the stars are closer. This song talks about all the stars being closer, um, being able to tap in or walk up to these beings that are bigger than you. Okay. And so I feel like somebody could be nervous if you are, it's like several different, there's several different issues here, <laughs> but they're for each, like everybody's going to resonate with maybe one or two of them differently. So either you're highly spiritual and this person's highly religious and they're trying to blend the two worlds or they're trying to understand how the hell you blend the two worlds. OK, um, and they're trying to because whatever you're doing is working because nobody does it better than you do. What's behind that? I caramba. So it's like this is maybe scaring somebody. Someone's afraid. Someone's afraid, but they know you're their person. They know your justice because of everything that's been proven about your energy. See, something else is going to occur. I don't know if it's you're going to get some type of prosperity, okay? But there's something else that's going to occur with you holding the faith. And then you have prosperity lies ahead. So it's like you're seeing the bigger picture. A Sagittarius can see the bigger picture. And maybe a Leo can't see what the Sagittarius sees. And so they feel as if as if they're not sure. So they could be letting fear rule them because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know about, they like, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> they're like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Like my pastor said such and such and such. I don't know about that. My mama said woo -de -woo -de -woo. Uh, I don't know about that. My I remember my grandma and them said such and such and such. It's like somebody, but they're half. They're gonna something's gonna happen. Emotions are running high. Something's going to happen where they're going to see what you see because God is going to give them something to see. So God is about to give them something to see. That's the title of this reading. Whew. Okay, I'm done with y'all. <laughs> I think I'm done. God is about. Oh, I'm hearing that song. Giving him something he can feel. To let him know this love is real. This love is real. Okay. Um. Mm. Mm. Somebody could have said, like, you're too young for this person. Or you're too old for this person. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see. Something like, I don't know. Y'all go listen to that song, giving him something he can feel, okay? My nose is itching. I feel like you need to listen to that song. God is about to show them something real or something they can feel. Something like that. Whatever this title it drew you in. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, it was a little long. A little long, but oh well. I got the energy right now, so I'm going to just put it out there, but... 
let's go ahead and get into the next one and i hope i see y'all over there whatever it is or wherever around welcome welcome mikasa sukasa right um i have different playlists you guys can click on those okay um each playlist y'all it comes with a different energy okay so if the emoji jumps out um by view or by way of playlist then you guys by all means watch all the videos in the playlist because you're going to be able to put some pertinent information or pieces of the puzzle together in your life okay for your journey for the highest and greatest good of your path all right this has been your reading i hope y'all enjoyed if you did be sure to like share comment or subscribe keep that fear in check um whoever that is that's in fear there's nothing to fear but god is about to show you there's nothing to fear okay so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a mm, 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 mm. I don't know why I'm about to say knickknack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone. That's why you get to finally come home. Okay? I don't know. That's what I just heard. Take it as it resonates. Have a good day. All right.